before we, we before we talk about games for change and we're gonna, of course the book power play i want to show your uh, your master's thesis which was a game called peacemaker and it's still out it's still available so peacemaker starts uh with video going way back to 1922 right here's the founding sure. of, of israel in 1948 Showing you the cycle of violence that basically goes on and on, you know, just the Seven Day War in 1967. Yeah, yeah. What a troubled uh, uh, area this has been. But then I love it because after you, oh dear, uh, is that end to be? Oh, it's just terrible stuff. Um, this was the TWA, TWA kidnapping, uh, kidnapping of the planes to Jordan. Right. Oh my. So, but the, I mean, you don't normally start video games with this kind of stuff, except it sets the ground, it sets the scene for what is really an interesting game. You have to choose whether you're going to be the president of the Palestinian Federation or the uh, prime minister of Israel. And, right. and you're working not to beat the other guy, uh, but to be a peacemaker. Something that has, this is a challenge that has defeated the best minds of several generations uh, now. And I love it. It's it's available on iOS if you if you guys want to play it uh, for a dollar ninety nine. So tell me about uh, about Peacemaker and and what your goal was uh, in Peacemaker. So Peacemaker uh, was yeah you 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 see how the game is is built and how it's designed. It's a strategic uh, game that you know gives you uh, the ability to make very high level decisions. And your decisions are going to impact the um, environment. This is the first video when you choose the Israeli side, when you basically joins the office, and it's all based on real footage from the prime minister offices. And your your real goal is to, on one hand, to um, you know make Israel secure and make the people of Israel happy and satisfied. The other end, build the. Uh, uh, quality of life with the, and trust with the Palestinians. And right from the beginning, what you're showing now, we're showing you what we call the inciting incident. A suicide so, bomber kills 18 and injures 100 in West Jerusalem. Yeah, and, and we want to tell you, look, it's, it's not going to be a kumbaya. <laughs> and it's not, it's not a game about, uh, it's a game about peacemaking with very, very intense challenges. You have various things you can do. This is, you know, I wish we could get world leaders to, to play games like this. Is that is that part of the goal here is to make people aware of the issues, but also to kind of raise their awareness of how difficult this is? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we got feedback. Some, some we expected and some was very new to us. But, you know, we got feedback from people that said, now I understand what it means to be a leader. How, how hard how challenging. Yeah, yeah it's, it's challenging. And, you know, I heard things like, oh, but they don't understand. I'm, I'm actually, my intentions are positive. You know, why, why is the opposition, <laughs> why they're fighting me? So, so you have this kind of uh, complexity that the game, uh, I think, is doing a pretty good job in conveying. Uh, and also it does a good job in connecting the dots between actions and, and consequences, between stakeholders and their agenda. Uh, you understand the poles and how how they're affected by by the actions that you're taking. Yeah. yeah. And um, you can look at the at the groups and leaders to see at any point. This is to your left there on the bottom. You see at any point what those guys are thinking about you, and you see over time how it's changing. You know, it's going up and down. And this is great. And and you have to take all yeah. of this into consideration. You can't absolutely. You you yeah. 